Francis Atweli Mrembo Mwasi Mrembo Hadi Mrembo Lomu Washindi sana ni Sikia Ukiamuka usubui na baba yako alikufa na uona kamzeke ingine anatoka kwa nyumba ya mama yako hapo kamzeke wa baba yako unasikia hiyo usiende kuuliza mama tuini nani katika hiyo fulano papa wa Kenya ni William Samoe Ruto mtu unisha na wabire shindu tawe fandi shubuta na mchenge na indita ni bali nende msari ya mudawadi umwana wa bungoma huyu mwosa sueta mkudari yao kawa na wefumbo mwari ya haba jume wefumbari ya kushara mwene yao kushara hapo hapo hea yuko sisa tuto na mimi ni mseeru na muambia ukweli na sikake kwa danganya hakuna mwaka wa elefumbili na ishirini na saba muta kuambie atatoa huyu bwana ni nguvu na ndio maneno bwana msali alikuwa anawauliza yeye yeah, tulijaribu kumweka nje umzato huyu akubira hoshinga na mundu vira mtu uma <laughs> alipita kwa sisi kama mtu anapita kwa shamba ila ina mai wacha tusimame hapo ni kalika rio sisi sote tuwe kitu kimoja viongozi wa Luya viongozi wa Luya viongozi wa Western wote wamekubaliana watafanya kazi pamoja nyuma ya mheshimiwa Ruto. Haya. Angalia mambo ya miwa. County governments kutoka kule South Nyanza. Kule nje yote mpaka Kericho mpaka kuja Vihiga. All those county governments napanda miwa. Paka nzo here. Governors wakae chini wa form one company. And then they go to Mauritius, a very small country, and buy not depend on Ken. Wauliza na government, president at our side here, kama garanta, kupata experts. Muache ubi nafs, selfish. One company from South Nyanza, Migori, mpaka huku, ya miwa peke yake. You build big things. We have absolutely no problem with our brothers in the opposition. They have a constitutional responsibility to discharge. Na hata nimesema nitawasaidia. Awa mawaziri, sasa tumebalisha standing orders, waende bunge. Wajibu maswali huko bunge. Wananchi, ama wananchi kutumia wale wabunge wenu mewachagua, wataulisa awa maswali, watajibu. Nimesema vile vile kama wanataka tutengeneze ofisi ya leader of opposition kule bunge niko tayari to fund na serikali ya Kenya. Awe anatoa statement kutoka asubuhi mpaka jioni hii serikali imekosa hapa, hii serikali haijafanya hii, hii serikali imekosa pale, mimi sina problem. Ama ni magani. Si ndio? Si akisema mahali eh, nimekosa na ninaona kweli kuna makosa zinarekebisha. Si ndio hiyo ni kusonga mbele. So I have no issue. So Tusukumane na mna hiyo, ndiyo tupeleke taipa letu la Kenya. Ile tumekata, na hiyo sita kubali, kwa vyo vyote, ni fujo, na vita, na kuaribu mali, na kuchoma mali ya uma, na kuaribu biashara ya wananchi, na kulete uhasa makatika taipa letu, na kusabotage economy ya Kenya. That is not acceptable. It is unpatriotic, it is undemocratic, it is, again, it is illegal, it is unconstitutional, it is against the rule of law. So we must all agree to ishi ndani ya sheria na tupeleke taifaletu la Kenya mbele. Mimi na shukuru rafiki yangu Moses Wetangula, na shukuru rafiki yangu eh, omwami Musalia Mudavadi, na viongozi hawa wote, magovernors wetu, na wabunge wetu, na viongozi wale wengine wote, kwa kukubali tuunganishe Kenya hii na tupeleke eh, taifaletu la Kenya mbele. 
wale ndugu zetu wa upinzani tunataka waendeshe mambo ya upinzani kulingana na sheria ya Kenya Today we are having a conversation in the Republic of Kenya not about sharing positions not about politics that are interests of people we are today having a conversation about the economy of the Republic of Kenya and how we are going to make it possible for every citizen to be part of the transformation of Kenya. Mimi na furai sana na mimi nataka ni wakikishie that is going to be the conversation that's going to take us forward. Vile viongozi wenzangu wamesema nafasi tulioko nayo sasa ni nafasi ya kuunganisha taifa na kupanga mambo ya kupeleka taifa letu mbele. Mimi nimeketi hapa nimesikia viongozi wengi wakiongea. Mzee Atoli ameongea. Speaker ameongea, wabunge wameongea. Furaha yangu ni kwamba sote tunaongea vile tutabadilisha uchumi wa Kenya na vile Kenya itasonga mbele. Pale nyuma tulikuwa tunaongea Sijui BBI, sijui rege, nani atapata nafasi gani ya kuongoza, sijui nani atapata nini. Leo atuongei yale ya viongozi watapata. Tunaongea ni vipi mwananchi wa kawaida wa Kenya. Tubadilishe uchumi nae apate nafu. And that is to me the greatest transformation of our politics. Nataka tukubaliane shilingi ngapi mkulima atalipwa kwa maziwa kama ni shilingi ya msini kwa lita moja ama shilingi ya msina tano ama itafika shilingi ngapi we need to agree already nime commission watu wanafanya hiyo kazi ili tuhakikishe kwamba ninyi kama wakulima muna tusaidia kuzalisha maziwa katika taifa letu la Kenya kwa sasa tunatumia pesa ya Kenya kuagiza maziwa karibu lita bilioni moja zinaagizwa zinakuja Kenya ngombe ya watu wengine na sisi tuko na uwezo ya kufanya hiyo kazi. Na wizara ya, af, ya kilimo pia itawasaidia kwa mambo ya mbegu. Ile sex semen ambayo mmekuwa mkinunua shilingi 1015 sijui 1012 tunataka kupunguza bei kuje 2000 ama 3000 hapo ndio msisumbuke kutafuta ndume. Kwa sababu unajua ndume saa zingine kupatikana ni shida. Unaenda kwa jirani Unajaribu kumwambia oh huko ngombe hapa nisaidie ndume anasema ndume iko busy. Sasa <laughs> unachaka unachaka kwani hii ndume iko kazi yake nyingine iko ama So ndio muzizumbuane na jirani akwambia ati ndume iko busy. Sasa tuko na mpango kamili na ile seme nyingine tumepunguza bei yake mpaka shilingi eh, shilingi 200 ukitaka eh, eh, seme ya kawaida na tutakubaliana na county vile watafanya hiyo kazi. Kazi yetu ni kupunguza kutoka mahali inatoka, tuko na bull station hapa Kitale, tuko na bull station nyingine tunaongeza kule Kabete ndio tuhakikisha kwamba we produce enough semen for our livestock. Ngombe ya nyama, ngombe ya maziwa na tuhakikisha kwamba tunasonga mbele kwa pamoja. Nataka ni seme tena nirudie nikiwa Bungoma. Hatutaki kuendelea kuagiza maziwa kutoka nje. Tunataka wakulima wa maziwa wa bungoma warudi kwa kazi na tutawapatia bei ya sawasawa ya maziwa yenu